Hey, welcome back here with Ranch and Mafia. Today, we're going to be replacing these rear sway bar handling bushings on this 2009 Volvo S40. They should cover 2004 to 2012 uh, Volvo S40s, some B50s, uh, and some C30s. This is the P1 platform. Uh, as you can see right here, the bushing, the reason we're going to replace it is dry rotting. And eventually what's going to happen is going to go metal to metal. And of course, you're going to hear some noise, some clattering back here. Uh, so you just want to basically prevent any further uh, damage. So we're going to go ahead and replace them. So we're going to see what tools we need. And let's just get started. So these are the tools we're going to need to perform this project. We need a mid-lane pry bar, 16 millimeter socket with the 3 8 ratchet. 15 millimeters uh, wrench. Of course, your parts, there's two different styles. We do have the three piece, the ones we're gonna be performing right now, but you might have uh, L shape like this one right here. So contact your local dealer to see which one you have. Uh, it just depends on your uh, chassis. Uh, so there's uh, two variations. So make sure you contact them and they'll give you the right part for your vehicle. And of course, uh, we're gonna use some gloves. We'll be using the Diamondbacks today. I like these gloves. Or friends at Unisafe send these over to us. Uh, like I say, these are my two go gloves. So I'll leave their information down in the description if you need gloves. Trust me, they, you won't go wrong with these. Uh, and you're also going to need a 19 millimeter socket. Uh, and of course, uh, to remove the wheel. So I already have the wheels removed. Uh, so we're going to get started with this project. So we basically already removed the wheels. The car is lifted. Make sure you're in a nice level space where the car is not going to move make sure you chuck up the wheels um, that way if there's any movement the car of course you want to create any uh from the vehicle moving forward or falling so we're going to get our six millimeter socket down here with our 50 millimeter wrench and we're just going to break it loose So there's a top one. There's that bushing. This is where I use the pry bar. Kind of get in here a little bit, pry it down, and you can see how it comes off. Let's compare the new with the old, and then we'll install it. As we compare the old one, you can tell basically it's all falling apart. Uh, Bushing itself, they're all dry rotted, all kind of like broken apart. So, of course, like I said, it's going to cause some noise and clattering, especially as it breaks all the way through. You kind of see where it's been rubbing. Here's the new one. So, we're going to be installing it now. We just got to do the reverse order. So, what I like to do is get the centerpiece first. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a pry bar to pry down on the sway bar. Let's can see right here. You got to be careful. You don't pinch your, you pinch your fingers. Then I get the long piece. Go from the bottom and you kind of see it go through. Then from there, I get my top piece and I started by hand. Once that's, I just tighten it up. I just kind of keep on going and you'll feel the stop. Gonna get tighter and tighter, and then to a certain point, when, once it gets tight, I just go a little bit past, and there it is. 
We're going to do the other one next. Let's get the other one next and we should be done. So this is going to be the rear passenger side. We're going to do the exact same thing. Now I get my pry bar. Put my center, I put my center piece in first. Get the bottom. Push it through. Just gotta make sure you line it up properly. Put a top bushing. Now we just tighten it up. All done. So that's how we install rear sway bar and link bushings on your vehicle. Once again, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching the video. If this was helpful, make sure you guys hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you guys turn on all the notification bells so you guys won't miss on any of these type of videos. I want to say thank you once again, and we'll see you guys on the next one.